All right, well, hello. It is Thursday, February 8th, and it is a little after 11 o'clock. Uh, I have got everything set up to talk about the morning sale. And um, let's see, that is my one and only sale for Thursday. Uh, I will be spending the bulk of the day doing packing and invoicing. Um, and I have two payments in so far. I've got the labels printed. I need to get those on the packages. And so after we talk about the table, I'll talk about uh, shipping and what is going on with um, with that. And um, so I brought a lot today. I, I kind of went one time through um, kind of the plushes I had, some Easter plushes that I brought out, um, and I brought some jewelry. Uh, so I ended up bringing 67 items, a little more than usual, but I knew I was going to kind of go through them pretty fast. And uh, I sold about half. Uh, so 33 sold, 34 are still available. I feel the ticklings of a um, of a sneeze coming on. I'm going to try try not to sneeze. Oh, there's Joe. He's helping. He's in the same spot he was uh, this morning. He's just awake now <laughs> instead of asleep. <laughs> He's watching me. He's like, when are you going to start talking about the table so I can come over and walk through and get in the middle of everything. Because, you know, he's a helper. <laughs> so I did sell about half. 33, 34 is the split. Uh, so let's go ahead over here to the table. And let's talk about the items that are still available. All right. Hi, Joe. How you doing? And over here, there's Faye. Hello, Faye. There she is. <laughs> all right you get both of them practically uh, wait there we go in the same shot there we go there's both of them all right see here he comes walking through everything yeah careful careful that's the jewelry yep keep going keep going oh my goodness all right I'll be right back all right I went and got Joe some food so he should be good for a bit we'll see um, all right, let's go ahead and talk about the items that are still available. Uh, so up first is this really cute silver tone ring. It is a size six, like cute little pyramids. Uh, that is $1 and I'll give you a number, number one, because some of this stuff, again, it, it can look so, so similar. So that one is number one for the ring. This ring kind of kind of reminded me of two things it it part of it looks like a little sunburst a little sunrise or starburst and then i thought you know it kind of looks like a peacock also like a peacock tail uh that one is a size five and a half and that is one dollar number two one dollar number two uh the little alice in wonderland isn't she cute? She is a little Disney sum sum. She's got her tag on her and Alice is a one dollar. Uh, the mermaid here. Now she needs a little brushing. Yeah, her hair needs a little combing. She has um, purple and an aqua color or maybe even a teal colored sequin she does have a little issue with her fin yep it is torn now you can either repair that or you can just cut that off and just leave her be with with that part uh, she is just one dollar for the mermaid um, all right this little ring says something very similar to Dior on it Got a little champagne colored rhinestone and it is a size eight and three quarters. Ooh, I had to look that up. Eight and three quarters for that ring. And that is going to be two dollars. There we go. Two dollars. Uh, number ten. 
$2, number 10. Uh, right behind it is this really bright purple ring. That is small. It is a size four and a quarter. And that one is $2, number 13. Size four and a quarter, $2, number 13. Uh, these little Tree of Life silver tone earrings. Those are $2, number 14. Right behind it, little heart shapes of like um, flowers and vines with a bird. That is uh, $2, number 15. And then these fun, just boho style silver tone earrings. And those are $2, number 16. Uh, this little four leaf clover is just a picture. It's not an actual clover. It is in a domed resin uh, pendant silver tone on the back. And that one is a $2, number 17. Uh, this necklace with kind of the silvery gray beads and the gold tone beads. Uh, that is a ooh, 16 inch necklace, 16 inches, and that is $2, number 19. Uh, then I've got the little buckwheat. He is a bobcat. He has a clip on him. And he is $2 for buckwheat. The toucan. Yep, he is a beanie boo. Little toucan. He is uh, $2 for the toucan. Uh, and this black ring, I think this is the last piece of jewelry. All right, this black, black ring with silver tone. Uh, that one is a size seven and a quarter. Ooh, focus. Seven and a quarter. And that one is $3, number 32. So $3, number 32. All right, uh, then we have the whale, a um, beluga whale that is from uh, Canada. And the whale is $3. Then I have some squishmallows. I have milk. Uh, milk is $3 for the squishmallow. Oops, popcorn has fallen down. There's popcorn, that is $3. And right behind that is a cinnamon roll. And that is $3. I also have a Squishmallow octopus, also $3. Then we have the Thai uh, Beanie Boo Leopard named Dottie, and that is $4. This one is not a tie and no beans in, in that little leopard. And that is $4 for the pink leopard. And then we've got the tie elephant. And that one is $4 for the tie elephant. Let me get in there so you can see how cute with the pink. All right, then we are going over here to the gnome. An Easter gnome, he's got an egg, he's got rabbit ears. He's about 12 inches tall, and he has a bendable, there's a wire in there, so it's bendable. Uh, the gnome, Easter rabbit gnome is $5. The dolphin, also by Ty, uh, that is $5. The sloth is $5. The turtle is $5, and the kiwi, yeah, it's a big kiwi. That is a bird from New Zealand. I don't know if they're in Australia also, uh, but that one is $5. All right, then I have this beautiful um, African-style bear. Uh, the outfit is sewn onto him. 
and it's a beautiful woven um, textile. It's gorgeous, but it, it is definitely sewn and and attached into the bear. I mean, he's he's wearing that outfit. Um, it's about a 10 inch tall bear, and he is six dollars. Uh, then I've got the large ties. Now, just to give you a size comparison, here is the, the regular size tie, and here is the big tie. They are quite large, and they are um, $8 a piece. Let me move that out of the way so you can see the Husky. So the Husky is $8 the um, unicorn is eight dollars the lamb eight dollars and the giraffe is eight dollars and then for ten dollars i have the boyd's bear fireman firefighter he comes with all of his tags and oh yeah his name is buckley Fire station number one. He is super cute. And he is $10. All right. So that is everything that is still available for sale. And we'll go ahead and take a look at, um, at the other items that sold. Hang on a second and I'll flip us over. All right, I just realized I was I was moving moving some stuff around be, right before I flipped over, and I just realized I forgot one. Uh, the bunny. Yep, that is a Thai bunny, and that one is also five dollars. All right, so now that is everything <laughs> that is still available for sale, and now I'm gonna flip over and we'll talk about the items that sold. All right, here we go for the sold items. Um, this little cute ivory colored bunny, the pastel, the um, cockatoo bird. I don't know what kind of bird that is, but it's a little bird. The cute little dog, the pig, uh, the mandrel, the dog, and the very colorful rabbit. We've got the uh, fun little European folk couple, pirate Scooby, the white Boyd's bear, the puma, and the stork. Um, also some beautiful jewelry. Oh, I loved that set. That was so gorgeous. Um, loved the coloring of this one. Very kind of that antique Victorian look. Um, beautiful pendant on this one. Um, really nice braided silver necklace and bracelet set. Some um, really fun St. Patty's jewelry. Colorful earrings and, and the bees are really cute. And some very colorful rings also. Um, all right, so that is, um, well, those are the 33 items that sold today. And, and I forgot to mention when I was over on the other side, if you saw something that you were interested in purchasing, uh, let me know. Uh, you can send me an email. You can leave a comment on the video because... I'm going to show you two items that sold after the sale. So thank you to everyone who watches the, um, watches the speed round, watches the sales on the replay, and, um, and or watches my uh, videos and purchases items. I appreciate it. Uh, so these were from yesterday's sale. This was a fun one. Um, I didn't even know this was a thing. Uh, the UN Children Inga from Iceland from 1993. She's made in Korea. She's ice skating with her pony. 
Oh, she is so cute. Absolutely adorable. And then I also sold um, the Easter postcards. This was a beautiful grouping of antique Easter postcards. A really nice set. And there you go. Those were all of them. Um, all right. So uh, oh, let me flip the camera around again. All right, I am going to, um, actually I'm gonna go do postage next. That's the next thing. So I'm gonna go uh, get the two packages ready. I'm gonna check and see if there's any more payments and then I will see you at the front door and we'll talk about what is going on with shipping today. All right, I am by the front door and I'm gonna show you the two packages that are heading out today. Around. Here we go. So those are the two packages heading out. I currently have uh, 16 packages that are ready to go invoiced and waiting for payment. Uh, if I get an update and a payment in and another package added to the stack, I will let you know. But that is kind of where we're at right now. I am uh, next going to clear up the um, the area back there, get the items that are um, still available, kind of situated down here in a good spot. I'm going to take the items that sold upstairs and I'm going to start thinking about what I'm going to bring to tomorrow's sale and kind of as I'm doing stuff, I'm going to get that ready. But I am going to be spending the bulk of the day, as soon as I have some lunch, <laughs> <laughs> Send in the bulk of the day uh, upstairs doing some packing and invoicing. And um, yeah, for right now, that's kind of wrapping things up. But I will, um, I will keep you updated to the progress. If anything changes, if anything exciting happens, um, I'll grab the camera.